What we're standing on is where the old canal used to be in Swindon. The canal ran under the bridge behind us. It's now a very busy public thoroughfare and uh, Bob's going to tell us all about what he sees happening in the future. Well look, we're stood on a site that actually runs right into the heart of town. This is right in the middle of town, right next to the heritage site. It really does offer a wonderful opportunity to bring a canal over a 30 year plan right into the heart of town with no disruption to transport, no disruption to daily life. There will still be a way of getting through at the side of the canal to get into the heart of town by bike and by walking. This offers a huge opportunity to bring the canal to where we want it, right in the heart. Well, this spot offers something really unique. Behind us, we've just come away from the canal route. That where I envision at the moment the North and Wilts Canal Trust will be based with a boat, their exhibitions, a cafe, so they can tell the public about what they really stand for, what they really want. And here at the moment, I'm still on the spot where I actually think could be a walk. Right in the heart of town, there could be a walk here, and I'm going to walk you around. This historic wall, if you come with me, will lead to what I think would be the Chandler's shop, the kind of urbane lifestyle that some people have been looking for a long, long time is here now. All we have to do is develop it. But on a Sunday, this could be used for a craft market, a, a flea market, an exhibition center. We could really use this site. And today you can see it's empty. And if we handed this over for the North and Wilts Trust to actually make money to pay for the canal is self-serving. This would be a wonderful centre if we used it that way. So let's, let's turn our minds to actually developing what we've already got. This is a fantastic site. It offers what people have been looking for and I hope that you will agree with me. Let's move forward. Let's do something with this. What uh, I want people to imagine, and that is, if you look at this wall over here, now Istanbul is a long way from Swindon, but it's famous for its walls. By the Sophia Haglia, there are many examples of walls like this, and what have the Turkish people done? They have built little cabins along there, and along there they sell everything. We know them as bazaars, and how many of you have been there? and brought cushion covers and things like that to bring home and little trinkets and their good luck tokens. Now, it doesn't take a lot of imagination and it's that entrepreneurial spirit that we want to catch like they have in places like Istanbul. <laughs> 